Hi guys, this is Shimshon Lashinsky. We're in the middle of a, a very um, shocking building called the, the Bell Building, Parmon. And we're going through the, all sorts of secret tunnels. Come and join the adventure, it's going to be fun. Are you ready for this? Are you willing to go uh, beyond? Let's do it. We're at the zero level, the basement of the Parmon building. There's even a building selling clothes here, which is surprising. Oh, it's second-hand clothes, but it's still surprising. You used to have to pay one shekel to get into the toilets here, but now nobody, very few people in the building, so it's free. What's going on here? Oh, no, no. Still you have to pay a shekel to get into the toilets here. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosler here. I'm uh, today in central Jerusalem for another adventure with Jerusalem's most uh, beloved viral food influencer, Mr. Shimshon Nishinsky. We're checking out today a property called Binyan Pa'amon. This place is located on King George Street, which is one of the streets in central Jerusalem, just off Ben Yehuda Street. And there's all sorts of unexpected things here, like a secondhand clothes shop. There is a health clinic as well. However things are now, it's gonna be getting better because we just read before meeting up today that uh, there's actually someone's bought, a group has bought the Binyan Pa'amon and put their logo up at the top and this is going to be uh, improving, they're adding stories to it. So uh, the once famous Binyan Pa'amon is probably gonna get a facelift in just a few months. Now this building was built about 20 years ago by the Reichman brothers, who were serious builders, construction from Canada, construction people. And it was a very glamorous, exciting building. They had like steak places, they had a bakery, they had sh shops, they had all sorts of uh, interesting things here. But the Intifada of about 2000 stopped everything. This used to be the post office and this used to draw in a lot of people and that kind of brought in some business but when that closed and it became the um, good Gimlaim, the police um, pensioners fund so less people coming through, less reason for customers to come here. There are a few second-hand stores here. So there were, I was asked a lot of questions as we went through. There's a very interesting pink swan here, you've got to see this. This is beautiful. <laughs> so Actually no, it's not a pink swan, it's called a... It's got a a flamingo. Flamingo, that's right. And anyway, we've got a hairdresser here as well. So there is some life here, it's not all desolation. It's not all problems. But let's keep going up. Uh, we've seen there's a travel agent here, there's a hairdresser, there's a, tie, a very friendly Thai lady, um, there's a, um, a, a tailor, um, there's, there's law officers, I'm not so excited about the law officers, but they're quite, one of them looks quite fancy. And there is some action and people talking here. We're here to find out the truth about this building. So keep on going with us, we're on the second floor and we'll continue to go up. שלום, שמי עורך דין דניאל ארז, זוכר פה 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 משרדים לצוות של עורכי דין שעובדים איתי פה ואני רוצה להגיד שאני מאוד נהנה לעבוד בבניין הזה, אווירה מאוד נעימה, מאוד שקטה, למרות שלפעמים אומרים שהבניין נראה נטוש, אני לא מסכים, הבניין הזה, אני מאוד אוהב אותו, אני 11 שנה פה. ואתה זוכר את הימים הטובים? כשהיה כאן אנג'ל והיה כאן שיפודיה והיה דואר והכל היה... אני זוכר את הימים של שנות ה... שנת 98, 99. כן. עוד הרבה לפני אנג'ל. למשל, המשרד הזה היה בו חנות, לדעתי, חנות תיקים. כן, נכון, היה תיקים. ופה היה חנות כובעים. ועדיין, הכל פה זה משרדים, בגלל שאין פה תנועה מספיק של אנשים. לחנויות. כן. אתה מבין, אם היית הולך לבניין משרדים קלאסי, כן. לא היה לך עכשיו את הפרוזדור הזה שאתה יכול נכון. uh, לעמוד. And surprises, we found some um, nice areas uh, maintained. We've got offices, we've got uh, x -ray, dental x-rays, 
Um, we've got a lot of lawyers here, and I think one of the reasons that people are here is, he said, because there's wide areas, it, it's a clear, it's a big area, there's, it's nice, nice office space. Plus, I guess the rent here is a little bit lower than other places. So let's go and enjoy it now, the, the nicest floor, number three. So as Shimshon has explained, the Binyan Pamon is kind of an analogy for the whole city of Jerusalem. From the outside, it just looks like this place you'd pass by in a second. It doesn't look that interesting, but nested in sight here, Shimshon says it's like peeling an orange. You peel and peel, and you find more interesting things inside on every floor. There is lawyers for immigrants, there's toy shops, second-hand clothing stores, and dental x-ray clinics. We've been to the six floors of the, um, the Parmon building. It used to have bells ringing every hour. It used to have music playing in Jerusalem, Shil Zahar. Thank God, um, there is still, still some life here, but there's a lot going on. It's, a, it's become a real estate project. It's going to build another six floors, and there's going to be uh, a lot going on. And there should be some food here. There's people coming here do need some food. But quite clearly, this is a real estate deal. Oh wow, the lights are off now. It's getting more and more scary in this building. It's gonna get better. It's got a bright future. A few years time, you're compared, we'll come back. Daniel, are you available in a few years to come back? Hopefully I'm still around. Hopefully you're still around too. That's right, so they will be able to get the, the bigger picture. So it's been really interesting exploring with Shimshon. If you wanna follow more from Shimshon Lashinsky, check out the Shimshon Lashinsky fan club on Facebook and join the secret Jerusalem Facebook group where Shimshon is always sharing amazing food in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm.